Welcome to our SharePoint label. In this label, I will show you in SharePoint 2013 or 2016 use BCS2 create external list sample. Now, I will prepare SQL Server as an external data source. Open the SQL Server. Twenty fourteen. <coughs> I will prepare some data. Prepare database. Right click the root property and set the secret as SQL Server and Windows authentication <coughs> and restart reload the service yes <laughs> and uh, enable the login sa right click the sa and uh, set password for the SAR. Later we use th this SAR to connect uh, and the status set to enable. Okay, this is a SQL Server and uh, I new a query. I will create some, I will create a database and uh, a new table, I copy it. This create a database DB1 and uh, use DB1 create a table T1. Uh, include two columns SID, S name, and insert three three records. I execute. Okay, this is DB1. Remember DB1, T1. There are three records. This is my data source. Close. No. <laughs> now, <coughs> I will configure SQL, SQL store service in SharePoint Admin Center. Open. SharePoint Admin Center. Open. I have open it. This is the SharePoint Central Admin Jet. Click Applications, Application Management, <coughs> and Management Service Application. <coughs> This is my step. Step. Uh, for config. Page. <coughs> SQL store service, this service, click, open it. <coughs> OK. 
click this will be slowly we wait it to open <coughs> I must configure SQL store service okay generate new key and uh, input password password I will input a password password repeat the password 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 <coughs> The new uh, target application. This will uh, match my SQL Server. SQL Server. SQL Server. This will uh, uh, mean at this two two at abc dot com. Uh, this will select group. Group. And next, <coughs> this will rename, and this I can use name and the password. This will show, and this will use because my SQL Server uses SA, so this is user and the password. Next. <coughs> Admin, target admin, uh, we are administrate check it. These members we are everyone check it. Okay, that is all. And uh, select it and uh, set the secure service password. This is you, when you connect to SQL Server via SA password. This password is uh, I have set in SQL Server. So I have done the SQL Store service. <coughs> then I, uh, I will configure the, configure the external content type in SPD. Open the SPD SharePoint Designer. I have opened it. This is the SPD. In SPD left tree, click external content type and click external content type to create a uh, external content type to connect to connect to SQL Server. <coughs> Wait to open. Okay. External content type. Name it SQL DB1. And click here to connect. Add connection. This selector, the net type SQL Server. WCF service. I'm SQL Server. Okay, now database server is S22. This is my SQL Server's database DB1. And uh, connect uh, in pre mentioned customer ID. Must select this. And uh, this is SQL Server. This is uh, I have created uh, at uh, SQL, SQL Store Service. ID and this is SA password. When connect uh, successful, that will show something and uh, tables. This is my table. Right click and create all operation. Operation include read, create, update, delete. Show. 
create read update delete read list next and the SID is uh, is uh, ID and uh, show pick show pick next delete I will know no I had do it and uh, save it <coughs> Now I must to I must go configure permission for the external content type CQDB one in BCS. So when I close SPD and go to SharePoint Central site preaching management and uh, manage a service application browse to uh, BCS BDC business data connecting service connect <coughs> and I will see secure DB one and uh, set permission this and everyone check you can and I will give all the permission to everyone and uh, propagate permission to child now I can do everything so I can test it now I can go to a, a site site collection and uh, cre create a uh, application <coughs> this application must use external list template to create it now I will demo it add uh, app vet And I select uh, <coughs> a template, the external list, external list, and name it external list. And uh, external content type is select, uh, select uh, DB1, secure DB1. Okay and uh, create <coughs> this will create a external list and this list will connect to my SQL server DB1 and uh, there was three records in the table so show three records uh, I have give permission to everyone so I can add a new item Michael save okay I can edit it edit Michael Michael Lee save oh Michael Lee and I can delete it okay update delete and uh, edit it is always uh, success so I can do the external list this external list will show at the top you can edit link to nice it uh, so this is today's uh, content thank you for watch